that when the well was drilled to a depth of 14.5 kilometers, they suddenly came out into some huge empty space. The temperature in this space reached 1100 degrees. Having lowered the microphone to this depth, the scientists recorded heart-rending human screams. A Finnish newspaper published the news on April the 1st that the purpose of the well was to find the entrance to hell. But we would not talk about this case if not for another mysterious situation that's associated with sounds. The Earth was formed from a solar nebula about 4.5 billion years ago, weighs 5,972 yottograms, and its radius is 6,371 kilometers. The numbers are so impressive that it seems that scientists have studied absolutely everything about our planet. But this is far from the case. We know a lot about what is on the surface of the Earth, but what is under the crust only raises questions. And to find answers to them, scientists go to any methods. What ancient planet is hidden inside ours? What sounds have scientists heard under the Earth's crust? And why did the deepest journey into the Earth stop? So, first things first. Our Earth consists of three main layers. The very first is the crust. This is the outermost layer of the planet. Its depth ranges from 5 to 75 kilometers. The thickest layers of the crust are on the continents, and the thinnest at the bottom of the oceans. The Earth's crust is made up of plates that constantly move at the rate at which our fingernails grow. This movement is due to the mantle, the next layer of the Earth. The depth of the mantle is about 2,890 kilometers. This layer consists of silicate rocks heated to temperatures of 900 degrees Celsius near the crust and up to 4,000 at a depth. When this incandescent substance bursts upward, volcanic eruptions occur. The last layer of the planet is the most mysterious. This is the core, the heart of our Earth. The radius of the core is about 2,180 kilometers. The inner core is solid and presumably composed of iron. The outer is liquid and consists of an alloy of nickel and iron. Also, the inner core rotates at a different speed than our planet. To study the secrets of the inner layers of our planet, scientists regularly take various measurements. During one such seismic tomography of our planet, scientists discovered something strange, namely the mysterious lumps floating inside the Earth's mantle. Some of these lumps combine to form large-scale regions. The two of the largest are located under Africa and under the Pacific Ocean. But something else is interesting. They don't just float harmlessly in the mantle of the planet, but create a unique anomaly. In particular, we're talking about the South African anomaly, which weakens the magnetic field of our planet. Serious changes in the magnetic field can lead to catastrophic consequences, up to a change in the poles. But the discovered anomaly, fortunately, is not so strong yet. However, what is the nature of its occurrence? And what are these mysterious clots that give rise to it? The mysterious substances are called LLSVPs, stands for Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces. They've existed for a huge amount of time, long before life appeared on Earth. And many scientists suggest that these are the remains of another ancient planet, which the Earth once collided with. According to this hypothesis, the planet Thea, which was similar in size to Mars, moved in a spiral trajectory through the solar system. It's impossible to calculate how fast the ancient protoplanet moved, however, our Earth became its final stop. If Thea hit the Earth at a right angle, or too sharp an angle, it would be a disaster, which most likely would entail the destruction of our planet. However, Thea hit the target perfectly, at a 45 degree angle. Thanks to this, our planet withstood, and just a piece broke off from it. Thea plunged deeply into our planet, and as a result, its core merged with the core of the Earth. After this collision, our planet received a sharp increase in rotation speed, one revolution in five hours, and a noticeable tilt of the rotation axis. Thanks to this, we got a change of seasons and a 24-hour day. A powerful split of the Earth's surface occurred, provoking a chemical exchange. 
This allowed the emergence and development of life on our planet in new conditions. That is, it is quite possible that it was thanks to the collision with Thea that humanity eventually emerged. In return of this gift, Thea chipped off a piece of Earth and took its place. But where did this mass thrown out of the planet go? If you look out the window in the middle of the night, you'll see the answer. Many scientists are confident that the Moon was part of our planet in the past and separated after the collision of Earth with Thea. The theory is supported by another amazing discovery that humanity made several decades ago. For this, let's go back in time to the late 1960s. The Soviet Union was not the only country that was first to send a person into space, but also the first to travel into the interior of the planet. For this, a large-scale project was created to drill the deepest well on Earth. It was named the Kola Superdeep Borehole SG-3. The initiator of the project was David Guberman, who devoted most of his life to the project. The drilling work progressed with great enthusiasm. It was possible to drill up to four meters per day, depending on the density of the rocks. Eight hours were spent on the lowering of the drilling tool, another eight on the drilling process itself, and the remaining eight for extraction of the rocks. Drilling proceeded relatively calmly down to 7,000 meters. Scientists did not encounter any difficulties, and the drill went through homogeneous solid granites. However, after a depth of 7,000 meters, the drill head entered the less durable bedrock. Regular accidents began to occur. However, scientists continued to work, and by 1983, the mark of 12,066 meters was reached. The project was put on a short pause. Immediately after the resumption of work, a terrible accident happened. The drill string broke off. Scientists were thrown back five years and continued to work from a depth of 7,000 kilometers. This mark turned out to be fatal for the project. Whenever scientists approached a depth of 12 kilometers, strange accidents occurred, and they had to start again from a depth of 7,000. According to scientists, it was almost impossible to work at a depth of 12 kilometers. The temperature rose above 200 degrees, and the resources of the equipment at that time were not enough. The deepest mark that scientists have been able to descend was 12,262 meters. In 1994, after another accident, the well was closed. The scientists who directed the experiment consider it to be incomplete. After all, the main goal was to reach the mark of 15 kilometers. It was assumed that after this depth, the drilling rig would be able to get to the Earth's mantle. If this project was completed, these discoveries could literally flip over all ideas about the structure of our planet, but they couldn't get through the last three kilometers. The Soviet Union collapsed, the project was no longer funded, and now the well is sealed with a strong iron hatch, according to David Guberman himself, so that curious stalkers do not throw stones into the well. However, it cannot be said that the experiment really failed. During their work, scientists managed to obtain a huge number of samples of the Earth from different depths to confirm several theories about the hydrodynamic zonal model of the Earth's crust, and also to make two amazing discoveries that are especially interesting to us. The first was overgrown with legends even before it actually happened. The Kohler experiment was widely reported in the press, and one day, a Finnish newspaper published the news on April the 1st that the purpose of the well was to find the entrance to hell. This humorous news was immediately picked up by American newspapers, which began to talk about it in all seriousness. As a result, a legend has spread over the planet that when the well was drilled to a depth of 14.5 kilometers, they suddenly came out into some huge empty space. The temperature in this space reached 1100 degrees. Having lowered the microphone to this depth, the scientists recorded heart-rending human screams. American newspapers called it the screams of sinners tortured in the underworld. And years later, a supposedly real recording captured by microphones from that depth spread across the network. In fact, the story is the purest invention of a Finnish journalist, which the American media trustingly fell for. But we would not talk about this case if not for another mysterious situation that's associated with sounds. Here is a direct quote from academician Guberman himself, who supervised the experiment. When I'm asked about this mysterious story, I don't know what to answer. On the one hand, the stories about the demon are rubbish. 
On the other hand, as an honest scientist, I cannot say that I know exactly what happened here. Indeed, a very strange noise was recorded. Then there was an explosion. A few days later, nothing of the kind was found at the same depth. But another discovery has amazed the scientific part of society. As already mentioned, soil materials were regularly lifted from the depth of the well. Of particular interest were the samples raised from the depth of about three kilometers. After a thorough study of these materials, it turned out that they almost completely coincide with the materials of the soil brought by the American cosmonauts from the moon. Thus, the theory that the moon is part of the Earth, which broke away after a collision with Thea, became even more likely to be true. And these are far from all the discoveries that were made thanks to the Kola well. An analysis of the methods of its ultra-deep drilling helped several years ago to discover the real ocean of the Archean period by Russian, French and German scientists at a depth of 410 to 660 kilometers below the Earth. A huge body of water is located under the Earth's crust and was formed under conditions of high pressure and temperatures of 1530 degrees Celsius. The water in it is enclosed in the crystalline structure of minerals. And now, we cannot even guess whether these minerals contain any living organisms inside them. In order to find the answer to this question, you'll have to take another trip to the center of the Earth. But unfortunately, even if such a project is planned, there's no data on it yet. Therefore, for now, we can only find more and more questions to which there are no answers. But make sure to stay tuned here and we'll let you know when we find more answers to this and other incredible mysteries of our planet and the universe around us. Thanks for watching. Show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell and enabling notifications.